Thank you for purchasing a DF-832 by Deltec Fitness. These instructions are to fit the 832 to the 838 stack loaded lat attachment. In your box, you will have instructions, a hardware pack, J right hand arm, K left hand arm, I backrest, A arm mount, G floating pulley bracket, E right hand cam, F left hand cam, D swivel pulley mount, E fixed pulley bracket, C swivel pulley brackets, L cable, and an assortment of pulleys. We're going to start by bolting the arm mount and the swivel pulley mount to the lat attachment. We're going to use the M12 by 75 millimeter bolts, washers, and lock nuts. First thread the bolt through a washer, through the flange on the arm mount, then hang the arm mount from the top hole of the lat attachment. Next, slide over the swivel pulley bracket, then cap it off with a washer and nut. Once the top bolt has been installed, go ahead and install the bottom bolt, then use some 19 millimeter wrenches to tighten both bolts down. I like to start by tightening the bottom bolt, then nudging the arm mount up and straight, then tightening the top. Next, we're going to install the swivel pulley brackets. The swivel pulley brackets have a flange on it that's offset from center. The flange will go down. We're going to need the extra long M12 bolts, washers, and nuts, and the four bushings. Slide a bushing into the top of the swivel pulley mount, then thread the bolt through a washer, through the top of the swivel pulley mount, then put another bushing on the bottom of the swivel pulley mount. After that, install the bushings in the swivel pulley bracket, then slide it over the bolt, followed by a washer and nut. Once the left-hand side has been installed, go ahead and install the right-hand side. Once both swivel pulley brackets have been installed, go ahead and tighten them down with some 19 millimeter wrenches. You want to get it tight enough to where there's no play back and forth, but they still rotate freely. Next, we're going to install the cams on the arms. The cams have a stop that goes up, and on the outside of the cam, there's several holes for adjustment with the cable. The holes on the cam on the side will point toward the curve of the arm. Now it's time to install the other cam on the other arm to get ready for the next step. Sometimes the bushings can be tight, so it's helpful to rotate the cam as you slide it over the bolt. Remember, the outside holes point toward the curved section of the arm. Next, we're going to grab the large washers, the large nuts, and the large bushings. Slide one of the large bushings facing up over the bolt on the arm. Slide the arm and bushing up into the arm mount, then install the upper bushing, followed by a washer and the large nut. Install the other arm, then grab an adjustable wrench. When you're tightening the arms, make sure not to tighten them down so they don't move freely. When you're tightening the arms, tighten them down until they don't move, then back off one quarter turn. This should ensure a smooth movement. Now that the arms have been installed, it's time to install the fixed pulley bracket. Use the long M10 bolts and bolt the fixed pulley bracket to the bottom two holes of the front support on the lat attachment. After both bolts have been installed, tighten them down with some 17 millimeter wrenches.
Next, we're going to install the fixed pulley. Grab the medium length M10 by 45 millimeter bolts, washers, and nuts, and the small three and a half inch pulley. Bolt it into place hand tight at this time. Next, we're going to grab the same size pulleys and bolts and install the swivel pulleys. After the swivel pulleys have been installed, it's time to install the cable. The cable will be bolted up to the cable will bolt to the cams using the small M10 by 25 mm bolt. Unwind the cable, then put the bolt through a washer, through the cable, then bolt it to the farthest hole forward on the cam. Cap it off with a washer and nut hand tight at this time. Now that we've bolted the cable to one side, it's time to build the floating pulley assembly. Grab the floating pulley assembly, the medium length M10 by 45 mm bolt, washers, and nuts, and bolt them together. Next, grab the other end of the cable, then thread it up and over the swivel pulley. Get the cable in the groove of the pulley, then feed the cable through the floating pulley assembly. Next, thread the Next, thread the cable with the floating pulley assembly behind the front support and in front of the lat attachment cables. Then thread the cable up through the bottom of the other swivel pulley, then bolt it into the front hole of the cam. To make the PEC deck work on the stack loaded lat attachment, we will have to replace the bottom 4.5 inch pulley of the lat attachment with a 3.5 inch pulley. Take the selector pin out of the stack, then pull one of the cables to lift the stack up. Unhook the snap hook, relieving tension on the cable, then replace the pulley. Next, we're going to wrap the hanging cable around the fixed pulley, then thread the cable up behind the fixed pulley and clip it onto the floating pulley assembly. Make sure that the pulley in the floating pulley assembly's groove is seated on the cable. Next, we're going to set our cable tension using the floating pulley assembly on the lat attachment. Go ahead and untighten the bottom bolt on the floating pulley assembly and take the bolt out. Once the bolt's out, lift on the stack to relieve some tension in the cable, then bolt it into the second highest hole on the floating pulley assembly. Once you have the pulley bolted back into place, make sure that the cables are all seated in the grooves of the pulleys, then let the stack down to create tension in the cable. If everything looks correct and your cable has tension, go ahead and put the washer and nut back on the bolt. Then tighten all the pulleys down with some 17 millimeter wrenches. Your final tension adjustment will be made with the bolt on top of the weight stack. You'll tighten the bolt on the top of the weight stack until the first plate is barely hanging, then tighten the jam nut with a 19mm wrench. Finish up by tightening down the swivel pulleys and cable bolts.
The last step will be bolting the back pad to the front support of the lat attachment. Grab the last long M10 bolts and washers, then bolt the back pad into the remaining two holes on the front support. Once both bolts have been installed, tighten them down with a 17mm wrench. Finally, install your Deltec Fitness decal. Thank you for choosing Deltec Fitness.